Well, tonight, the man seen on video, this video to be exact, being tased by a reformed police officer says he wants justice following the encounter. This now viral video, video of 24 year old Micaiah Washington and officer Dana Elmore was captured on Saturday. WVTM 13's Gladys Bautista spoke with Washington today about Washington today about his experience and what justice looks like for him. Here in Tuscaloosa, Makai Washington has been recovering at home mentally and physically nearly a week since his encounter with a reform police officer that has since gone viral and been seen thousands of times across the country. He tells me he's still in shock that it even happened and has had a very hard time looking at that video. These taser marks on Micaiah Washington's back are now the daily reminders of what happened. She racially profiled me basically like from the stop. When reform police officer Dana Elmore stopped to question Washington Saturday, asking for his ID as he tried to change a flat tire on the side of a road near his aunt's house with his younger brother. She came off as soft at first until I started asking her questions of why you need the ideas because we ain't doing nothing but changing the tire or whatever. And she was like, you just give me your ID and you go stand over there by my car. And I said, I won't because I'm not under arrest. Like, I would let her know, like, I know my rights. Washington says as he began to record her, the encounter turned physical. That's when she tased me the first time when um, I was trying to turn my camera on on my phone. And I feel, that's when I fell down. And then that's when the other video started. Washington was ordered to get up and walk to the car in handcuffs letting her know he did have a gun he was legally carrying. The moments that came after, Washington says he still can't wrap his head around. When she got that out, she like she got excited. Oh, yeah. Like, I can't see it. And then me screaming and stuff, like, it made me feel some type of way. Washington was later taken to jail with a bond set at half a million dollars for drug and weapons charges. While the fentanyl trafficking and firearm charges were dropped with Washington saying there was no merit to them, he posted a $5,000 bond on Tuesday for three other charges he still faces, including resisting arrest, obstruction, and marijuana possession. Washington's attorney is now planning to file a $20 million lawsuit with the officer involved in Washington's arrest on administrative leave. Reform Police Department officials now say they're turning over all materials related to the arrest to the Alabama Bureau of Investigation, which will look into exactly what happened. It ain't the money for me. Like I just want, like yo, I just want justice. Like, cause it ain't no, it ain't no telling like how many other people that didn't happen to, like, and that didn't get to record. Makai Washington's attorney tells me he expects that federal lawsuit to be filed within the next 30 days. In Tuscaloosa, Gladys Bautista, WVTM 13.